So, someone from the community sent me a box of knives and I suspect there's some pretty awesome stuff in here, so we're gonna check it out together. Now, the person who sent it to me was Alice and her husband, Jeff. You might know them from Alicord. She does different types of paracord stuff. This is just one example. So Kara can't carry in the pockets because girl pockets are so short, so she usually carries on the hip. So this makes it where, you know, it's something that you can carry your knife, your flashlight, or whatever, and it actually hangs on really good. Even without the lock, you know, this thing hangs on like super duper good. So it's actually pretty cool, the whole construction of this and all the different things she can do with paracord. Now she does way more than just this. So you guys can check her out on Instagram. I will link her Instagram down in the description. Let's get into this box. The first one we have here is, well, it's a custom knife factory Oh yeah, okay. Oh, I'm pretty sure I know what's in here now. <laughs> oh, that is sexy, sexy. Oh my goodness. Oh my Lord. Oh, I freaking love this knife. Oh my goodness. That, that, that damn grind just, this is my style of knife right here, man. This deep, broad, hot, hollow grind. It gets down so thin. Oh, and this DLC coating, it feels so good in the hand. It's almost, almost slippery and sticky at the same time. It's really, really cool. We got a full Timascus clip. The backspacer just looks like it's titanium, but it's also got a brushed set and finish over it, just like the handle does. This is just absolutely sexy. And man, I, I, I really want one of these. And I've had a couple small opportunities to get them. And they're, they're, they are expensive, man. They are expensive. It, to be honest, if this was something that I could link, you know, I, I'd probably invest in it. Uh, but I just want to just because, to be honest, I want one of these so, so bad. This is just beautiful. So uh, thank you for sending that for me to check out and uh, to make me jealous. Because <laughs> it absolutely does. <laughs> um, next. Next one um, looks like a damn designs box. Not sure if that's what's in here. Um, oh, it is. Oh, this is cool. Oh, sh <laughs> I've never tried one of these. Whoa. Wow, that is snappy. That reverse flick, man, that hole lands right in a perfect spot. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It is an Americanized Tonto. Luckily, the, pro the primary tip does drop down. So it is going to, you can still do utility cuts. Actually, with both tips, you can do utility cuts. Um, access to the lock bar is nice. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I've never, uh, I've never seen this. I don't even know what it is. No name on the box. This front flipper is wicked. Look at how big that front flipper is. It works good, too. Like you can go from the... Obviously, it works good, right? With <laughs> this bigger one, you better better work good. Um, it, the handle feels a little unique, though. It does feel a little weird right here in this section, you know, but it's still cool, man. It's different, you know. It stands out for sure. It's not, <laughs> I don't, I've never even seen this thing, so, so that's really cool. Uh, I'm always excited to see things because you'd think as much stuff as I get on the channel, you'd think I'd seen everything. Like, there's nothing that I haven't seen, but that is absolutely not true. You guys remind me all the time that I don't know half of what's out there. Um, next. Now, this is the one that I knew was coming. And um, I want to say, before we even get into this, this is something very, very, very special. Um, these are very expensive. So this is VC Edge. Oh my goodness. This is probably the lightest knife I've ever felt in my life. I mean... It's a full-size knife, and you would think it doesn't weigh nothing. Like it, It's all carbon fiber. And just so you know, the blade is even carbon fiber. It has some steel. I don't know how they machine that together, um, but however he did it, it's got a really good edge on it. It is incredibly sharp. But it's basically like a Scandi grind on carbon fiber. So since the blade is carbon fiber, 
It is the lightest blade you've ever felt in your life. Wow, that is so light. It is in, it doesn't even make sense. It almost, if it was anything else, it would feel cheap because you can't feel anything. Like it's literally, it's, there's no weight at all, right? It's like holding onto like a bottle cap or something. You know, there's just nothing there. And, but since it fills your hand, it, it just, it feels like it's made out of, it feels like it's made out of wood or like, you know, like very lightweight pine or something. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I mean that in the best way possible because, you know, most knives are gonna be a, a bit heavier. Now it does have titanium for the lock bar, the clip, as you can see, this is all mixed together. And this is called the interface, I believe. Oh, yeah, right. interface, yeah, interface number 109. Um, the clip has that, man, this beautiful machining. The action, it, it's a great action. Very clicky. Yeah, that, that's a good action, especially for such a light blade. I'm surprised how good it is, actually. Now, I can... Uh, I could fail it if I really wanted to, but is if you break once you break the detent thing, it thing rockets out. It's just it's so light though. But when it rockets open, it's like you don't feel it. You don't because the blade is so light. When it hits, you know normally you feel the weight of the blade hit the stop pin. In this case, you do not because the blade doesn't weigh anything. It's crazy that it's this smooth. I don't know how he did that. She said I could take it apart. Um, should we look at what's on the inside of this thing? Should we? I don't know. Man, this thing is so crazy. I still have another knife to get to. So let me get to this other knife. Maybe, maybe we'll take a look at the inside of that here in a second. Okay, so this is heavy. <laughs> this is a big boy, whatever it is. Woo! We got the... AD15 with original goat scales. And I know they're original goat because I remember now she messaged me and told me. Um, yeah, freaking awesome, man. I got the custom. Listen to that. I almost bought one of these ones just to get these original goat scales because it does feel, it feels even better. I think now mine's full. I, so I have the, um, the titanium custom one, but the handle here is G 10. It's not my titanium. So getting the full metal construction, it has a different sound, a different feeling. It, it feels, it feels better. Um, in a way, in a way, you know, um, this is nice. This is really, really nice. Um, by the way, original goat scales, I do have them linked in every single video down in the description with a 15% discount code. So you guys can always get a set of original goat scales if you're looking for any. They're 100% USA made. The best quality scales I've ever experienced. I have many of them and all of them have went on perfectly and, and yeah, no complaints. Um, and this thing is badass. So work hard, stay tough until next time. Peace.